Hey everybody, it is Jason from the Texas Gun Vault 2. And I'm coming to you tonight with a lot of upcoming content and something cool that I got today. You know, I've been looking at other people's channels, and this is not a brag or anything, but I really think that I have reviewed more guns than I think many other channels. I don't think there's many other channels that have reviewed and done videos on as many guns as I have. Um, I think I'm kind of in an elite group. I know that there's other channels that do a lot of guns, but they do like one release a week or one release every two weeks. And I do two, sometimes three a week on firearms. And then you have the gigantic channels that you guys know who I'm talking about, the ones that have millions and millions of, of subscribers. And they have way more videos than me, but sometimes they'll do five or six videos on the same gun. So I don't really consider that counting it as like a review or another video. It's essentially the same gun. So if I did, you know, five or six videos on the same guns, you wouldn't count it as, oh, it's a different video. I, I honestly think I'm getting to a point where... I might have reviewed more guns than just about anybody else on YouTube. And if you go to my playlist on the main channel and go look at my range report, man, it's getting up there. I got a lot of guns on that list. But anyway, I'm going to show you some more guns that I'm going to review. So <clears throat> I got my friend Ken. Uh, I got his awesome SIGs back to him, and he had two things for me. Now, one of these was kind of a surprise because I wasn't expecting it, and I think my friend Matt's going to be a little bit upset. Uh, first off, we have a Langdon Tactical Beretta. I believe this is the Compact, I think. Anyway, this is the Centurion, or I think Slide is what they call it. I'm not really sure uh, what it is. It's got this little streamlight on this. Uh, pretty cool. It also comes with another slide right here this is this is without the uh, milling for the red dot now i have done a langdon tactical beretta in the past but i don't think i've ever done one of these i believe this was the compact i don't know it, it looks like it's a compact what does it say on the magazine yeah 15 rounds i don't know that's the standard size i don't know i guess this is a full size it sure looks like a compact to me maybe my eyes are playing a, a trick with me but i don't think i've done this exact model so we got another langdon tactical uh, Beretta. I mean, come on, that's a pretty awesome high-end gun there. And we also have, let's make sure it's clear, a CZ-97B. Yeah, this is the one I think Matt's going to be a little bit upset with because he just recently purchased one. But I think this is an older one. So maybe the new ones are different. I don't know. I'll have to ask Matt because he has one that he just bought, uh, but this one is a 97B, so it's kind of like a CZ-75, but chambered in 45 auto. So that's kind of cool and awesome. And uh, that's some pistols I have to review here. So let me put these back in the box. I'm going to save what I got today for the very end. So those are two awesome pistols. So thank you, Ken. I appreciate that. Let me set that to the side. And then my friend D hooked us up. I guess I'll unbox them over here or get out of the bag over here. And when you guys see these, you're going to go, oh my gosh. All right, so the first one here is a Noveski. Which one is this? This is the Space Invader 9mm. Check that out. The Space Invader, and I like that color too, and I have never shot a Noveski before. So this is the Space Invader pistol. 9mm, that is super duper cool. Um, I believe Noveski is a Texas company. Let me see where it, what it says here on the receiver. Uh, no, it's not. It says, is it Oregon? For some reason, I thought it was, no, I'm sorry. That is, man, what's, what's the company I'm thinking about that's uh, Texas-based? Um, anyway, I'll have to remember at some point here. Uh, it's one of those high-end companies. Anyway, Noveski, I guess is Oregon. Got that wrong, huh? Then, we got, check this out, the Q Honey Badger pistol. 
And this one is in 300 blackout. Yeah, that is awesome. And of course, Q is based in New Hampshire, started by Kevin Brittingham, or Brittingham, who started Advanced Armament Corporation, or AAC, and eventually sold that to Remington. So I got a honey badger. And I got one more amazing gun. It's kind of a companion to that honey badger. And that's going to be the Noveski. What's the name of this one here? This is the, oh, yeah, the Ghetto Blaster. I know, one of the most un-PC names of any firearm. This is also in 300 Blackout, I believe. I think it's in 300 Blackout. And uh, obviously a pistol as well. So I'm going to do kind of a compare and contrast of the Ghetto Blaster and the Honey Badger. So talk about some amazing high-end firearms. Just wow. I mean, come on. That is awesome. Okay, so something happened today that I had to jump on. Now, you guys know that a lot of people have come to my channel in the past because of my Mark 18 builds. And people always ask me uh, about the parts list for that for those builds. And when I tell them the lower receiver that I have for my Mark 18 Mod 1 is a Colt US government marked SOCOM M4 A1 uh, marked uh, receiver they're like wow that's so cool I know those are hard to find Colt only made a limited run of those and where do you find one and I just said well I picked one up when they were kind of being made and I bought it as just a lower receiver because of the marking it was so cool it was the perfect lower receiver for that build and later I was very glad that I picked it up because I saw those guns, the complete guns, and sometimes even the receivers on GunBroker going for upwards of close to $2,000 just because of that marking. And if you wanted to do a true Mark 18 clone, it's about the closest receiver that you can get on the civilian side of things. Well, <clears throat> today I have not been on Texas Gun Trader and I don't know how long. It's probably been... I don't know, year and a half, two years? I might go on there and just peruse, but I'm ne never really anything think serious. Well, I got on there today, I had a break from work, and literally it was like the fourth or the fifth item that was on there chronologically was a Colt M4A1 US government marked stripped lower receiver. But it's not really stripped, it actually has the safety and the buffer tube and all that on it, but just doesn't have the trigger group in it. And I clicked on it, and I was hoping it was still for sale because the person was only asking like $500 for it, which is actually well below most of the stripped Colt lowers anyway. So I was like, okay, well, let's see what he wants. Maybe it was five or six. I forgot. It was somewhere in that area. Um, and I looked on it, and it said, never fired. W what? What? Honestly, I thought it was a joke or a scam. I was like, there is no way this receiver is going for that. So I contacted him and said, hey, this is where I live. Um, I'm interested in buying this. I didn't even negotiate price. I'm like, hey, is it, is it for still for sale? Tell me about it. Uh, he had bought it originally, he said, for a different build that he did. And he kind of mocked it up and then decided to go in a different direction. He decided to go uh, sell the parts to get a really nice AK. And so he had the receiver, and I said, uh, I'll take it. I, like, without hesitation, I didn't negotiate price. And I said, can you meet me at, you know, like 4.30? Um, and he, li he literally lives one town away. So I'm like, hey, let's meet right there on the border at Ikea and the parking lot, and let's do this. And he goes, yeah, absolutely. So it was real. I was able to pick up this, and this is awesome. Here we have... A property of U.S. government marked M4A1 carbine from Colt, all the right markings. It even has the correct safety on it, so it's ambi and it's the right Colt one. Just doesn't have a trigger group. He already had bought a UID tag, I guess. I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't think Colt was making those, but it has the A2 grip, the four position 
buffer. And I can tell you from looking in this thing, it's never been, been fired. It's brand spanking new. It's amazing. And so I got this thing for what's got to be just an amazing deal. So it's below the price that I paid for my original one for my Mark 18 build. So I know some of you are asking, what are you going to do with this? Well, this was an impulse buy because um, I wasn't expecting to pick it up or even buy anything that today. <clears throat> so I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do with this. I'm not going to do another Mark 18. I, I already have a Mark 18. I got four of them, in fact. But what I think I'm going to do with this one, because it's a special one as well, I have been wanting to make the new, was it the GAU-5 air cruise service weapon from the uh, Air Force, the one with the Cry Havoc takedown system, the 12 and a half inch barrel with the Midwest Industries rail, and it's going to have the Fab Defense folding pistol grip on it, and I want to clone that Air Force rifle. So I think that's what I'm going to do with this, and this would be the perfect lower for it. So now i got to source a real upper for it. Um, probably a Colt cage marked upper and, uh, we'll go from there. But yeah, that is an amazing deal. I mean, it's an amazing deal. It's less than what I paid for my original. Um, it just doesn't have a trigger in it, but luckily because I've built so many guns and put Geisleys in them, I actually have a stock Colt trigger, uh, semi-auto trigger here. So I'm going to drop that in here tonight. I'm going to clean this receiver up and drop it in there. So that's what I got going on. So there you go. Awesome guns to review in the next week. I still got to go to the range tomorrow and review the HK USC uh, carbine. And then I got these amazing firearms. Uh, so yeah, that's what I got going on. So Noveski is an organ. I got to remember that. Now what company is that? I know they make a lot of mounts. Oh, LaRue Tactical. That's the one I was thinking. I got LaRue Tactical and Noveski mixed up. That's it. That's it. So, yeah, LaRue is in Texas, Noveski's in Oregon. Okay, well there, well, there you go. But check that out. Some amazing guns. The Ghetto Blaster, the Q Honey Badger, and the Noveski Space Invader. <laughs> awesome names. Um, those companies really know how to, how to market. And then I got what I think right now is one of the most desired Colt lower receivers on the market. So, and I got it for an amazing price. So... Woohoo! Sometimes you just luck out. It even has the H2 buffer in it, which is correct. So there you go. So let me guys, let me guys, let me know what you guys think in the comment section. And uh, yeah, you guys gonna hear all the mistakes I make because it's unedited. One of these days, I really should do like a, a video where I don't edit anything and I show you what my range reports when I film here in the garage actually look like and how I edit it together because I'll string together a bunch of stuff in one, you know, take, and I'll try to remember where I stumbled or forgot a word, and I try to hold the position or remember where my hands were, and I'll try to restart the sentence, and I'll pause just before I know I made the mistake again, and then I'm able to kind of edit it and cut it together, and sometimes it is seamless. You can't even tell I cut it. Sometimes you can. It just depends. So anyway, let me know what you think. Um, great times here at the Texas Gun Vault going into summer. So, as always, thanks for watching.